Wait a minute. What's the, what is, is that? that? Is that a tow truck? No way. Is that the police? Oh my God, mate, he's pointing at the space. Is this copper coming here now? So we were all good in the hostel last night. The bed was like still empty. We got to bed what time? Midnight. We both had to get up early to move the car because obviously city parking's like pff, crazy. But we're just trying to work out now where we can actually park the car to leave it there basically because the parking is just so expensive here. Luckily Lewis sorted it out yesterday, but I can't be paying $5 an hour. I'll have no petrol money. What's the plan for today? Today we're gonna go to Opera House. The, the harbor, yeah. So yeah. Where we can see the Opera House, we can uh, walk along the bridge, or maybe take the ferry up to Manly and walk yeah. around Manly. So we're gonna drive to like one of the suburbs, park the car, and then yeah, go back into Sydney. Honestly, I'm so tired. Like this challenge is like really tiring. Like driving through the night, Sydney, sleeping in the back of a car for a couple of nights, getting up early this morning to, I need a break after this challenge, mate. Right, let's make a move. Oh my God, trying to park the car in this city is a nightmare. We got there in the end though. Ironically as well, all the car parks in Sydney are owned by Wilson. You couldn't guess it, look. So it's literally taken us two hours to drive around the city to find this parking spot. It's worse than New York City. Mate, it's worse than London as well. So we are seven days into the challenge. And how am I feeling about it? <sighs> it's tough. It's really tough. The fact that the car is like an anchor to me. I can't move without somebody in that car. So it's definitely the hardest challenge I've done so far. That's for sure. And just to add, Australia is a really, really cool place. I wish I could have visited more places along the way, but got places to be. Also, you've got asking people to get in the car with you. Obviously, like, there's different ways of asking and different words I'm using, but essentially, you're still asking somebody who's never met you to get in the car. That's a tough one. And then there's what I always mention in every challenge, which is the sleep and the tiredness. Like, I'm really, really tired. I'm sort of a bit exhausted. I could definitely do with a day off. I've done, like, one night sleep in an airport, two nights sleep in a car, one on a hostel couch, and then, obviously, the hostel bed yesterday but still not sleeping well, not getting enough hours in, definitely. So I'd say that pretty much summarizes where I'm up to at the minute, to be honest. I tell you what though, with this parking situation, if I didn't have this guy with me, I'd be screwed. Although if I could turn back the clock, I'd have took the guy from the hostel. <laughs> That guy seemed pretty cool. I'm only joking. Right, plan for today. We're just gonna have a random day. I'm just gonna go with the flow. The first stop is definitely gonna be the Sydney Opera House, which is just a short walk this way. Once we've seen that, maybe grab some food. Lewis's petrol money is fueling my stomach. <laughs> And we are here, and this is pretty amazing to be honest. Let me introduce you to Sydney Opera House. I've gotta say, this place is sick. Like, you've got the Sydney Opera House there, then you've got the bridge behind me, and then you've got like the whole of the harbour, city, bridge, boat, opera house. They offer one hour tours for $40 each. Mate, man's on a budget. Right, we're just going to grab some food and then we're going to go and try and get a better view of the Sydney Opera House. Should we try and jump on that ferry? Yeah. We'll see how much it is and we'll try and jump on that. Fish and chips? Let's do it. Yeah. A large battered fish. You want our chips with it? Yeah, can I have the chips and salad as well if that's okay? Thanks, Cheers mate, Cheers. thanks very much. Can I grab Cheers. some ketchup, is that alright? Yes, thank you. Right, fish and chips done. They weren't great, if I'm honest. I've told him he used to have British fish and chips. I've heard New Zealand fish and chips are the best. Really? Yeah, that's what I've heard. Mate, British fish and chips are good. I can vouch for them. Right, now we're getting on the ferry to, where are we going? Manly. To Manly. Just so we can get a better view of the opera house. How much was the ferry? About $9. $9 each. Every time you say dollars, I think it's US dollars, but it's no, Australian it's, yeah, dollars. It's Australian dollars, so. It's cheaper. Pound is probably like six, five, five or six. It's not too bad. Hey, how's it going, mate? Manly this way. Yeah, manly. Sweet. Cheers, dude.
We have just got off at Manly Wharf, and I gotta tell you this story. Lewis, the dark horse over here, was telling me when I picked him up that he was in the Navy, and we passed a warship in the harbour. So I said to him, mate, is that what you sort of used to work on? And he was like, no, I used to work on a submarine. He lived in a submarine for three years. How sick is that? What's life like on the submarine, mate? Life on the submarine was amazing. It was, <laughs> you I told me it was boring day. on the boat. It wasn't that great, to be honest. It's not as interesting as it sounds. No, that is pretty cool though, like living on a submarine. So we're just having a quick stop in Manly and then we're gonna head straight back into Sydney. Just see what the beach is like over here. Mate, I'm gonna start off by saying that this is definitely not as good as Byron Bay. Oh, Byron Bay was a cool place, yeah. I love Byron Bay. Do you reckon there's more sharks in here or Byron Bay? Byron Bay for sure. Do you reckon? Yeah, there are a ton of sharks in Byron Bay. Seriously? Yeah. I went scuba diving. And in Byron saw, Bay? Yeah, in Byron Bay and we saw like 20, 30 sharks. No way! Yeah, two, three meters in front of us. Jesus! I could have touched it if I wanted to. It's crazy to think this is winter in Australia. There's not a cloud in the sky, but it is cold. It's not warm. You're not gonna believe this. Taking a photo on his GoPro. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Oh, it's not that my bad. I'm God, used to it. my feet are so. Maybe this is the only pair of shoes I've got with me. Yeah, well. So we've just finished at Manly Beach. We're literally heading back to the wharf now to get the boat back into Sydney. I was looking through my emails while I was walking around and I've had an email off a guy called Jake who lives in Sydney. We've like sort of been in touch, God, for quite a while now. So he's coming into Sydney later. So I'm meeting him at seven by the central station, by the hostel. So yeah, it'd be cool to meet him. So let's head back. I've literally never met him in my life. I've literally exchanged a few emails and I've just spoke to him for a couple of minutes. So yeah, look forward to meeting him. And now we're back at the wharf. It's time to go back into Sydney. We've just got off the boat and look at that sky in Sydney Bridge. How amazing is that? And then you've got the Opera House there. Some place this. Honestly, I'm having a moment here. Like, I don't even know if this does it any justice, but check this out. Honestly, I am so grateful to have all these opportunities to travel the world. And I've just realized as well, by the time I get back to the UK, I will have done a full lap of the world. Because I will have gone like UK, to New York, to LA, to Australia, then I'll be coming back the other way over Europe. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, we're heading back to the car, a slight problem. I've been a bit of an idiot. The car park ticket ran out at 2 p.m., right? And the time now is quarter past five in the evening. The parking's run out by three hours and a quarter. I hope to God I don't get a fine. Do you reckon we'll be good? I don't know, honestly. You don't know? I don't know. May I it's hope Australia. we're good. Anything can happen. <laughs> oh my God. As we're saying this, look at this sign. What do you reckon our chances now are? I think it went up from 5% to 10%. <laughs> yeah. If we hadn't gone on that boat, I'd have ran back and stuck another ticket on it. Right, the moment of truth. I'm not feeling good about this, I'm gonna be honest. Right, on a positive note, it's still there. I can't see anything on it, dude. Dude, it looks like we've got away with it. Hold on, hold on. Is there something on it? No. What? No, there's nothing on it. Are we all good? Yeah. Happy days! My lesson of the day when it comes to Sydney is I wouldn't rent a car, I'd use public transport, but if you do by accident get a car and you want free parking, this is where you park it, by the domain car park. But I'm not taking responsibility if anybody gets a ticket. How lucky was that? Wait, what is that? Wait a minute, what is, it, what is that? Is that a tow truck? No way. Roads and Maritime, it says. Let's get out of here. Oh, mate, they're towing that. Check this out. So the tow truck's turned up. Is that the police? Oh my God, mate, he's pointing at the space. Is this copper coming here now? Hey. Ah, okay, yeah, no worries, mate. I'll swing it around now. Cheers, mate. Oh my God, mate, how lucky is that? Look at that, there's a police car literally there. Mate, they've just turned up. Look at the shape of that car. The windows are busted, it's, it's, it looks like. You said it's stolen. Oh my God. 
Mate, we're even luckier again. Okay, I guess this won't be our parking spot tonight. Yeah, this definitely won't be our parking spot tonight. Let's get out of here. Right, we've just got back into the city by the hostel. It took me a bit longer to get here than I thought. I'm just gonna head straight to the station to meet Jake now. Right, this is a train station now. I think this is the main entrance. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Right, this is it. Grand Concourse. Jake? Yeah. Hey, how's it going, mate? Good, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. You too. This is Jake. G'day. Where do, where do you live? Newcastle, you Newcastle, said? Newcastle, yeah. Fair dude. So you got the train down from Newcastle? Basically as soon as you called, yeah. Fair play, mate. So in today's vlog as well, I've asked for everybody's phone number who live in Sydney. Yeah. So we'll start giving them a call in a bit, awesome. mate. That Try and cool. plan something. Are you staying in the city tonight then, are you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, so if you're about tomorrow, mate, we'll... I'll be here early morning, but then I've got to head off, so I probably won't. Yeah, fair enough, Where are you mate? staying tonight? I haven't actually got anywhere, have I? I had a feeling about that. Yeah, worst case scenario, I'll just stay in the hostel because I've been hanging around with Lewis, you know, the guy I picked up from Byron Bay. I've just gone back to the hostel with him. Well, how long have we been speaking? Since January. January, yeah. mate, that's mad. So before the Europe challenge. I first saw your Floyd Mayweather video. Yeah. And started watching, and then I thought, oh, I'll reach out. Oh, fair. And you responded quick, and I'm like, oh, you've got to come to Australia. And you're like, oh, yeah, man, I'll come to Australia. I told you, and that was in January. I had a feeling that this challenge was Australia. Yeah. To be honest, I did because it was the big continent that I've not hit, do you get me? And I'd never I, been here. I, so Jake's just asked me what Australian food I've had. I haven't had any. What did you say I need to have? Meat pie, Tim Tams. What's a Tim Tam? Biscuit that's coated in chocolate and then double coated in chocolate. Mate, that sounds amazing. It's Mate, that like sounds it. like my heaven. Tim Tams. It looks like a penguin. Alan's lollies. Alan's lollies. Never heard of them in my life. Should we go for the mix? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Is Alan's like the best thing going, is it? Alan's like the most iconic lolly brand or sweet brand in Australia. Better than Harry, though? That doesn't exist. You're joking. Yeah, I'm just playing. I can't believe you, I'm, I'm seeing you right now. <laughs> I donated uh, for the bike thing. Oh, mate, yeah. you're a legend. Yeah, thank you like, so Mate, honestly, thank no, you so much. Five mate. Bucks, thank uh, mate, fight, mate, honestly, it means a lot. Yeah. Appreciate that. Can I chill with you guys? Like, five, yeah, come, yeah. mate, come with us. So now we've got a bit of a squad. Do you want to introduce yeah. yourself, mate? I'm Alec. I'm staying here for a year in Sydney. He's from Switzerland. How cool is that? So we've got Switzerland, Australia, and Wales. Yeah, honestly, yeah. it's amazing the people you meet traveling. Jake's just told me that he's joining the Navy in October. Yeah. Obviously, Lewis was in the Navy for five years, so I'll introduce no, I'll you, mate. We have made it in. Mate, I struggled to get here. I hope he's not seen the vlog. Did yeah, you see him looking? Yeah. He was, was, he, he was on. He was, he, he, was, <laughs> he was on to us. Right, where's Lewis? You go in? Yeah, this way. Are you? Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I need to introduce you to him, mate. Oh. <laughs> right. He's joining the Navy in September. Yeah. We're not going back in there, mate. Just making sure you have my glasses. Yeah, no, it's fine. Do you want to take my glasses? Oh, yeah. Mate, apparently, have you tried these? Tim yeah, Tams? Uh, yeah, I've had them. Mate, I've never tried them before. Yeah. Alright, let's give them a go. Oh my god, they smell nice. Right, first time eating Tim Tams. It's like a penguin. <laughs> That's good. They're not healthy, though, are they? So what are these yeah, Allen? Yeah. They're just lollies. Mate, these are good. Yeah. Starting salary for something for my job is $93,000 a year. To start? To start. That's, that's, it. that's it. starting before, salary. Before you qualify, before you know anything. How yeah. awesome is this? Just like connecting people. This is exactly why I do this stuff. Like me, new people, like bringing people together. This is what it's all about, honestly. Right, gents, bear me two seconds. Right, I've come outside because that guy behind reception is definitely on to me. Especially that I've just walked in with a couple of people. I just thought I'd come outside to end the vlog. The only way I'm staying here is if that guy leaves while I'm still in reception sorting the vlog out and it change shifts so then I sort of go in. Other than that, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to, but it's getting late so I'll probably end up in the car. Who knows? But I'm going to end the vlog there. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the questions. I'm sorry I haven't done Instagram lives. I really am, but with the time difference and rushing about and going here and going there and having to move the car and it's just a lot but I will get round to doing one I promise but I'm gonna go back inside and enjoy some good conversation with good people from different places around the world amazing I'll see you tomorrow